for that report. And Eyewitness News is your back to school authority. And a return to the classroom, of course, is exactly what's on the minds of many parents across Connecticut. The deadline uh, to, for school districts to submit their reopening plans is Friday. Many are starting to roll out their guides, but parents and teachers are still concerned about returning to the classroom. So here's Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson. She has more details on what educators are calling for. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Courtney. Well, the New Haven Board of Education just wrapped up their school back to school presentation. It was a 90 page agenda. Hundreds of teachers and parents joined the Zoom call and they wanted to know if more could be done to keep everyone safe. And I am concerned that there are too many moving pieces to this puzzle. Um, too many unknowns are still present. Some of them relate to transportation, standardization. New Haven Public Schools releasing their three scenario reopening plan today. The document details daily cleaning routines, ridership on buses, daily self screenings, and a plethora of other topics. The district says it'll cost about $13.9 million to reopen. Teachers and parents on the Zoom call say despite a better look at how the school year might work, they're still nervous. If you think it is unsafe to enter that room, Please do not welcome me or my students in. Do not gamble my life on compliance. And feedback in the smaller Simsbury School District, a stark difference. In an ongoing survey, 76% of Simsbury parents say they'll send their children back to school next month. The Simsbury plan is similar to New Haven's, cohorting younger grades, block learning for high school students, and extensive cleaning measures. That we have to make sure we go back for the right reasons and that we're not rushing anything. And the biggest teachers union in the state, the Connecticut Education Association, releasing their own plan today. The union is calling for a delayed opening of schools. It also wants a guaranteed funding for coronavirus-related expenses. The CEA says they aren't dismissing the state's plan, rather filling in missing pieces. The social distancing aspect of trying to get kids in school, all kids as much as possible, is, is, the, is a huge, huge hurdle and, and something that I don't think many districts, if any, in Connecticut are going to be able to pull off. And one of the big issues when it comes to reopening is funding. Districts will receive funds from the CARES Act, FEMA, state aid, or their general funds. And once plans are submitted this Friday, the state can begin to figure out how much each district needs to operate properly this year. Reporting at the Digital Desk, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.